Hello, welcome to this video. We are going to be taking a look at something that's a skill that's very valuable in order to combine information that you might be getting from the Tableau REST API uh, in ways that are supporting your automated workflows. And uh, the way that you're gonna be doing this, ideally, is using something like Python or whatever language you're using to extract information from the REST API, you want to be able to easily transform that information in whatever way you need. Maybe that's uh, filtering, maybe that's combining with other result sets that you're getting from the API, and then maybe outputting that data so you can use it in another system or use it uh, for whatever business use case you have. So we are going to conjure up a use case here just to demonstrate how the mechanics of this process works. And our use case is that we have dashboards. Uh, dashboards might exist in, um, in different projects. And something we wanna be able to do is query our information about our dashboards and then query information about our projects and then maybe combine that information together so that we have a nice convenient file kind of like this where for any given dashboard, we know which project that dashboard exists in and have some information about, you know, not just the project ID. Uh, you know, it's nice that this is 709226CC, but oh, that's the default project. Okay, that's good to know. And we have a description as well. So let's use that as our use case here for pulling uh, different pieces of information from the REST API and then combining them together into a nice user-friendly output or something that you might use with other systems. So diving right in, let's, uh, let's skip the basics here. There's a video on this uh, video called Getting Started with Tableau API Lib. And uh, Tableau API Lib is the library that we're using in this tutorial. So this is a library that I wrote and maintain. Um, just full disclosure, there are other ways you can interact with the REST API. You don't have to use my library. You could use Tableau Server Client. Uh, you could use your own code, custom from scratch. Uh, but be aware that the reason these libraries exist is uh, that writing everything from scratch can be quite time consuming and uh, difficult. So we are importing some stuff from this library. We'll cover each part as we get there. We are defining a configuration to communicate with our server. So we have to have some credentials. By the way, don't expose this to anybody. I'm doing it because this is a tutorial and I want you to be able to plug in your own information in place of mine. Uh, and then once we have our configuration, we are going to connect to whatever uh, environment we specified up in our configuration. So let's do that. Let's sign in and then to start things out, let's get information about all of the views that we have on our server. So because we're not coding things from scratch and because we're using a library, Tableau API lib has these querying functions which makes it really easy to get information into a pandas data frame. This is very nice because we say we want our views data frame and then lo and behold, we get our views data frame. Very easy, pleasant transaction. Uh, now we have information about our views, which includes information such as uh, what is the sheet type? Is this a view? Is this literally just a worksheet in a Tableau workbook? Uh, or is this a dashboard, which is going to be you know, the more interactive thing that you're typically publishing that people are interacting with? So we can, using the pandas uh, data frame syntax, we can specify that we want the views DF, the views data frame, but only where the column sheet type is equal to dashboard. So we are going to do that for this example because we want to know about our dashboards and about which projects those dashboards exist in. So now we have uh, that filtering syntax nailed down, very easy one-liner, and let's move forward. So if we wanna know information about our projects and combine that with information about our dashboards, well, we already have the dashboard information. Now let's query the projects. So we are going to store into projects DF the results of querying our projects uh, and stuffing that information into a data frame. So let's do that. Let's take a peek. 
Here, the REST API has returned to us all this information about the projects that we have. So we have a project ID, a project name, and a project description. And we want to join that in with the data about our workbooks. So what we need to do is in the workbook, um, or sorry, no, I keep saying workbooks, I mean dashboards. And uh, the dashboard is just a variety of a view. So we need to unpack information about our project ID from the views data frame, which we've filtered to only contain information about our dashboards. So the project ID is going to be locked away uh, inside this column here called project. So you can see that we have some columns that contain potentially nested information. Nested meaning that there are like layers to the information. So this isn't just a one piece of information column that we see in workbook. This has lots of different nested details in it. So does owner and so does project. So for project, we want to unnest this information. We want to unpack it. Uh, and the way that our library, the Tableau API lib does this is we have a nice handy function called flatten dict column. A dict being a dictionary, which we can see in Python is data that's, uh, that's in, in key value pairs stored between these little curly braces. Okay, so let's go ahead and unpack that project information and get that project ID from our uh, views data frame, which is describing our dashboards, which we're going to rename dashboards data frame. So we pull this information out. Now we have uh, information about our project and we can see that the way this function is working is we have a column name that we pointed to, that was project. We had an ID uh, that was some nested information inside of it. And what does this function do? It's going to output that, uh, that data, that ID as a new column where it's uh, project and then underscore ID. Okay, so now we have in our dashboards uh, data frame, we have information about which project that dashboard exists in. We also have information about the projects themselves, and we can rename some of these columns just for uh, just for convenience. I want to make sure that if I have uh, a column referencing the project ID in one data frame, that is also mirroring the name of the column in the other data frame. This just makes it easy for us to join things. We don't have to keep track of over here it's named Susan, over here it's named Kelly. You know, it's just going to be. Uh, project ID and project ID. All right, so let's do that. Let's run this little code that renames those uh, those target columns appropriately. Then we can get a little preview of uh, what's going on in these data frames now. We can see that the project ID is represented by a column named project ID. The project name is represented by this column named project name and so on. So as a little final step here uh, to the, you know, the transforming the data, let's actually join these two data sets together. We have the dashboards data frame. We are going to use the, the pandas method called merge in order to merge our two data frames together, or in other words, join those data frames together. And we want specifically from the projects data frame, we want this uh, list of columns. We want the project ID, the project name, the project description. We are joining wherever the project ID is the same between those two data sets. And let's see what happens. So we end up with this, um, this data frame, which is describing uh, all the information we had about our dashboard before. Uh, we can even confirm that we only have dashboards in here. And then at the, uh, the rightmost side of the data frame, these columns have been joined in. So now we know not just what the project ID is from that nested information that was in here originally, we've also brought in this new information that wasn't here before, which is the project name, the user-friendly project name, and the project description uh, wherever it exists. Okay, so you have all that data now, um, and in a more complex workflow, you might be joining lots of different things and then wanting to do other things with it or joining information and then writing that result set to a table. You know, whatever your usage is, you might want to do something with it. So here, let's just demonstrate, you know, this data is in pandas now. How easy is it to output that data to a file? Well, a pandas data frame has these 
nice output methods. And in this case, we can really easily write a file to CSV and then do something with that file. So that is how we end up getting a file that looks like this. This is our CSV that we output. And uh, yeah, from here, uh, the use case is kind of um, more of a prop. You know, we just, we really want to demonstrate what that process looks like inside of Python, uh, querying data using the REST API, getting that data into a pandas data frame, which is the, uh, you know, one of the, the first class citizens of working with data in Python, and then making things happen for your automated workflows. So hopefully this video is useful to you um, and empowers you to get all the various details that you want out of your Tableau server using the REST API and, uh, and then do things with it. So hope to see you around in future videos and good luck.